right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gorn Guitar. We have this great song here from Blink 182. I'm a bit late with this one, and anyway, this is a great song. So uh, we'll take a look at these uh, chords here, and it goes pretty much in the same way through the entire song. So we'll take a look at that. First, noting for any capo here, so we're going clean. And we're gonna take a look at this uh, with different grips here. So starting with uh, what we could call a D chord. All right, so what I do here, I place a bar, a sharp bar here on the fifth fret, uh, on the fifth, uh, yeah, fifth fret and just the bass strings here, a short, um, a short little bar there, cause we're not gonna use the full, um, fretboard here when it comes to all the strings down here all right so we're gonna play and strum here on the bass mid strings so a bar on the fifth fret and then you need to add seventh on the D string and seventh on G like that that's what I like you could also go with just skip the bar and have the fifth fret on the A string and then mute the last E string here in the bass with the finger here perhaps your middle finger just lean on top. But I like this darker version to really have the fifth fret on the E string bar there as well. So you get this darker sound to it. So that will be a D with an A in the bass. So anyway, that will be the D chord. That will bring us to the next grip pair. Uh, and it will be like this. So that will be sort of a D but with a C sharp uh, in the bass added as well. So we we'll call that the C sharp chord. Okay, so the grip looks like this. Uh, fifth on E, fourth on A, then seventh on D, and sixth on G. All right, so that's a D C chord, or the C sharp. Then we have the next, and we'll call that the B. So what you do here, uh, you go with the seventh fret on E string and then what you do with the next string here you lean that finger on top of it so you get that muted like this you could go with the fifth fret on A string but it's not necessary and it's not done in the song uh, either so just try to mute the next A string there with the finger using on the a, E string on the seventh fret and then you can go with seventh on D and if you wish, you can also add a seventh on G. It's not necessary, but you can, you do that. If you're not using that, try to mute that string as well with the finger using on the seventh D. So just lean on top to get that sound. So that would be pretty much seventh on E, muted A, seventh D, muted G. Or you can have the seventh G as well. All right, so that would be the B chord. And then we have the final chord, what I would call the G. Right, so it's the, it's the same grip as we use here for the C sharp, but now we'll call it the G here, and that will be third on E, second on A, then fifth on D, and fourth on G. So there you have the grip, and then we'll do some adjustments there. I'm gonna show you that with the strumming. So this is pretty much the grips here. So just to go over it again, the D chord here, short bar on the fifth fret with the E and A string, and then you add the seventh D, seventh G. Then we had the C sharp there, looks like this, fifth E, fourth A, seventh D, and sixth G. And then we had this B chord here, that's the seventh on E, muted A, seventh D, muted G, or seventh G. And then we had the same grip as the C sharp there, but on the G position instead. So starting with the third E, second A, fifth D, and fourth G. All right, so there we have the corporation for the song. And now when it comes to strumming pattern, we're gonna take a look at that with the first chord, okay? So grab the D there, it goes like this. So it's pretty much downs and ups, and ups and downs, comes goes back and forth like this. So you're gonna play down, down, up, up, down, down, up, 
up, down, down, up. So if you imagine the down, up, down as being one here, so you start with down first, and then you go down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. That is one round. So slowly. And a couple of rounds of it to get the feeling for the rhythm. It goes like this. One round and. Alright, so the song goes like D, one round, then we have the C, C sharp, then we have the B, and then we have the final G here. We need to make some adjustments. So it starts in the same way here. You're going to play down, down, up, up on this first position. And then what you do, you slide in here from the fifth D string. You slide in with the left finger. You pretty much using the uh, your little pinky there. You slide into the fourth D instead. Okay, so for from fifth to fourth, everything else is the same. So you just slide in there and play down, down, up, up. So. And then you slide back and play the final down, down, up. So in total, this is one full strumming around, the last G. But you're going to split it in three parts, so to speak. So the first part was the standard position, down, down, up, up. Then slide in, down, down, up, up. And slide out, down, down, up. So slowly it will be like this. And in tempo. All right. So there you have the song, guys. I'm going to take you through this a little bit slower than standard tempo. So let's go. Sorry for the bad sounding there in the end, but anyway, this is Blink 182's One More Time. And yeah, give this a try, guys. Nice song, fits guitar very well. So thank you for watching, and until next time, play tuned.